for joining in. My name is Connie. Uh, we might have met before in um, High School Counselors Workshop, if you've seen me kind of running around. Um, but I also go to several schools on Oahu and Big Island um, and Kauai. Um, and so I am one of the counselors that does these webinars. This is actually the first webinar we're doing for the Hawaii High School Counselors. Um, we collabed with Leilani, um, who works for MAC, and she was very um, uh, pivotal in getting these webinars together. It's actually her idea to reach out to you guys. So thank you, Leilani. Um, thank you, everyone, for participating and for being here. We're excited. Yeah, so um, I am very happy to have um, two academic advisors from two different colleges to join us here. Uh, this week's topic is about placement exams. And so I have with me um, Jill from engineering and Solomar from College of Natural, Natural Sciences. So I'll go ahead and let them um, introduce themselves and you all can say hi. I'm Jill Nakatsu. Um, I'm the Director of Academic Affairs for the College of Engineering. Um, and I'm, I guess, the only academic advisor in the office right now for engineering. Um, so welcome. <laughs> Hi, I'm Solimar. Um, I work for the College of Natural Sciences. There's, I think, six advisors in our office, so I'm just one of them. Um, yeah. Okay, so I guess I'll, I'll start this off. Um, so welcome, everyone. Uh, we're going to give you a short rundown of placement exams and then give you guys some, some time to ask some questions um, afterwards. So next slide. Um, so just something to bring up, um, I'm sure everybody knows about FERPA already because you guys are, are counselors at the high school, um, but it does change over um, to protect the students' rights um, as their, their own person um, once they uh, start attending uh, school beyond the high school level. So um, they'll be in higher ed now, so even if they're not 18, um, they, under FERPA, all their records and all of that is is theirs and we can only discuss those kinds of things with them so it'd be cool if you guys could remind them of that or, or even if you talk to their parents too to remind them of that so um, whenever students come in to meet with us um, and they bring their parents we usually have to ask like the students is it okay for your parents to hear what we're talking about and everything because it's their right to um, for their privacy okay so that was just some quick information on that Oh yeah, no problem. Um, so the math placement exam um, is really important um, for anybody going into like a STEM major. Um, so uh, uh, I'm from engineering and uh, Solmar is from NatSci or natural sciences. So all of our majors have to take the math placement exam. Everybody at Manoa in general has to take a math course. Um, some math classes can be taken without the placement exam though, but for anybody going into STEM, it's this math placement is required pretty much. The only exception to that is if students have um, AP exam scores or certain SAT scores um, that can qualify them to get into like a calculus level course. Um, so we'll let you guys ask questions about that later. But oftentimes because um, you know the AP calculus um, scores won't come out till like July um, before they start college, um, then uh, uh, we usually recommend students to go ahead and already take the math placement exam earlier in this exam period that we have up on the screen um, because registration for incoming students starts May 20th or I guess more so for freshmen it's the 21st I think um, and so if they want to be able to sign up for their appropriate level math they need to be um, done with the placement exam or have that AP score in. So since they won't have their AP score until later, they should just take the math placement ahead of time. Right now, the math department is offering the math placement exam through Proctor U, um, which is 1750. Um, they are working potentially on opening up a different way to offer their placement exam online because of the COVID-19 situation, but they haven't released that quite yet, um, a, like a free version of it. So right now it is the 1750 through Proctor U is their only option at this point. Um, uh, what was I gonna say? So yeah, um, between the AP exam results that come in later and their placement exam score that they get now, um, you, they, we, we will take the higher of the two, right? So if they place into Calc 1 with their placement exam, but then they get credit for Calc 1 with their AP exam later on, they can take Calc 2 in the fall. 
based on that. And they will just swap out at, during the registration time. Um, so when they take the placement exams, um, they'll get different scores. Um, and based on those scores, they will then qualify to take um, different levels of math. And there are three different calculus tracks that Manoa offers. One is the applied uh, track, which is the math 215 and 216, which is not appropriate for engineering and physical science students. So anybody in engineering or physics um, or math um, shouldn't be taking this one. Um, the 215 to 16 is appropriate more for the life science students. So people going into like bio, marine bio, and chemistry and things like that. I think chemistry, no. Actually, I'll let Solmar answer that one. <laughs> um, so uh, depending on their scores, different math classes are gonna open for them at that point, And then they'd be able to register for the appropriate one. To figure out which one is appropriate for them, they should contact um, their advisor, um, which is, you know, either me in engineering or somebody over at Natsai that works in Solomar's office. Um, and yeah, I think that's basically it. Um, okay, but it's really important that they take it or the only exception would be if they already have their AP exam scores because maybe they took AP ex um, calculus in junior year. So I pitch in, yeah. Um, before I go to the next one. Um, so uh, from the natural science side, um, we like to point out that students can take their placement exam once per registration period. And this registration period kind of falls in between the summer. So you essentially can take the math placement exam twice before you even start the fall semester. These calculus courses do have some courses that come prior to it so so if those students aren't taking AP scores they may place into a lower math class and that's really important if they place into a lower level course during the first registration period because they get that second attempt to try and study up and do a little bit better on the second time um, yeah okay and then I'll move over to chemistry. So chemistry is its own thing they're run by their own separate departments um, there are separate chemistry tracks. Essentially, they have a Chemistry 161, which is the introductory to general chemistry, which then leads on to general chemistry 2. But they also could possibly place into the Chem 171. The Chemistry 171 principles of chemistry is primarily only for engineering students and does not um, is not apl applicable to students within the life sciences. Um, I added the Chem 131 because this is the preparatory general chemistry course that students will sometimes place into. And it's just like adding in another semester. So similar to those math courses. So if you hear your students say, oh, well, I didn't place into my first semester of the class that I'm supposed to, that's fine. Just tell them to come meet with us because then we add in any of those courses that they may need to get to that appropriate level of chemistry and or math. Um, and then with chemistry they can actually take it twice per registration period and it's online for free through this website called La Lima. It's similar to um, Blackboard which is a, another or like Google Classroom and it's really the students first experience to um, one of the online resources that they will continue to use through their Manoa experience. Um, but important to know since they can take it twice they just have to wait a 24-hour grace period before that second attempt. Um, the chemistry placement exam is particularly important for anyone that's interesting or entering in for life sciences because all of the first semester biology courses that all of the biology, biochemistry, botany, marine biology students take have a co-requisite, meaning that they need to register for two courses at the same time for that intro bio and a level of chemistry. So it's our nightmare when we see students who have not taken their placement exams because they essentially cannot register for biology, for chemistry, and they can't register for math. And that's their first semester that really builds them. Um, so, and it's hard to explain, well, you should have taken them, but now we're gonna be needing to add in summer courses that way you can be graduating in four years. And that's not the best way to start your college experience. Um, so we try to inform all of our students as much as possible and push and tell them that placement exams are very, very, very important, but there's still always that select few students who just 
miss the information. Um, so we would greatly appreciate it on your guys' end if you know that a student is coming to Manoa, whether they're for engineering, for physics, um, computer science, or for biology, um, to tell them, hey, did you take your placement exams? You can't just register for those courses in that first semester. Um, and then, let me add one more thing yeah, go ahead. for the Chem 171. Um, for engineering students, 171 is like highly recommended. Like if they place into it, they should take it um, unless they're wanting to go like pre-med, in which case they should take the regular general chemistry courses because 171 won't cover it. And the reason we highly recommend it is because it squishes down the one year um, of general chemistry, the 161 and the 162 into one semester and it saves them time. Um, for engineering. So it's really helpful if they place into it, they should go for it. Kind of thing. But for everyone else, it's not really appropriate. Is that Chem 171 only offered in the fall? Yeah, and it's only offered in the fall because it's got such a small population that, you know, qualifies to take it. So they don't, they can't offer it year round. Yep. So if they don't take their chemistry placement exam, they have to start the other one and then add in two semesters of chemistry versus just doing the one semester. Yep. Okay. okay, so then the last um, placement exam that we added in was Hawaiian Second Language. So this is another placement exam that students may not be thinking about, um, and it varies depending on what the student's major is, um, because some colleges uh, require or have modified uh, this requirement. So uh, typically students are required to do up to a 202 proficiency level in a second language, which equals about four semesters. Give or take, if your high school offers any type of languages, your students could be opting to take placement exams when they come to Manoa. The idea is if they've already taken those courses and they have that proficiency, they could likely place out of the 101, the 102 level. Um, or maybe they're already a native speaker of a language and they speak that at home. They could do those placement exams. Um, and this also, uh, the AP exam scores will still, if they get credit for chemistry or a second language, they have an AP exam sheet online that the students can refer to. So, um, uh, like we mentioned, the, the modified requirement for some schools and colleges, like engineering is one that actually has a waiver on the second language. So none of our students take a second language because they don't need it. Um, if they do decide they want to do it, it's doing it on top of the you know, 126 credits that already requires to fulfill the, the engineering requirements. So um, it's still a possibility that they can do it, but they definitely don't need it for ours. And there are other, um, there are other colleges on campus that don't require um, the second language for their students because it's waived or they have different options that they can choose. So besides the second language, you can take some cultural courses and things like that. Mm -hmm. It gets a little complicated. So consult yeah. with your college advisor, for sure. <laughs> but some colleges are literal, like anyone within natural sciences, we require all of our majors to do four semesters. So, but yeah, like business, right? And pre-nursing, nursing, does they don't have requirements for the language. Yeah, okay. And I know Leilani's been answering some questions. But. How do I, can I ac access the questions or is Leilani going to read them aloud? I, I can read them aloud. Um, okay. Let's see. There. Okay. So now if you have questions, um, you guys can uh, write them in the chat and we'll see them. So one question. Um, from Randy, um, I guess it's a question, does UH still give back credit um, if they placed in 201 or up to 202 and pass that class, do they get back credits? Yes, they just need yeah. to apply for it. So each department has their own form on their website. So it's not automatically given. Um, so thank you so much for uh, joining our webinar and we'll see you next week, Monday. Um, yeah. Thank you guys. And thank you so much for our guest speakers. Thank you. Bye guys. Thank you. Thank you, Jill. Thank Bye. you, Salomar. Thank you, Connie, for making this all happen. And thank you to all of our high school counselors for tuning in. Thank you. Thank you.